South Africa on May 10, 2024. The court itself doesn't have um, any enforcement powers, so it's the highest judicial body of the United Nations, but it doesn't have, um, you know, its own police or military force that, that would perform um, that kind of enforcement. What it does have, pursuant to the UN Charter, is resort to the Security Council. And so that's the option. Clearly, the, the big problem with that is the UN, or the US rather, veto on the Security Council. South Africa used genocide because that was its jurisdiction hook. That's how it could get before the International Court of Justice. Um, and indeed, there is a very credible case of genocide. But the court will not resolve that case on the merits for some time to come. Today's ruling was just a preliminary ruling, which again has a very low threshold of proof. But we should not let the genocide debate deter us from focusing on the other serious war crimes and crimes against humanity that quite clearly are going on.